Honey, it's giving. My face feels amazing. Mm. Yes. Mm hmm. Yeah. What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to another video. And today's, I'm gonna be putting myself back together, honey. I am in the last month of my pregnancy. And if you know, you know. It's a bit of a challenge, and I've been looking a little rough for the past couple of days, maybe like the past couple of weeks, let's be honest. And today is the day to just get her together. She is ready, okay? She wants to feel better, she wants to look great. So that's what I'm gonna do today. If you're interested in these type of videos, definitely stick around for the transition and make sure that you like this video and you are subscribed to the channel for future videos so you don't miss them. So yes, the first thing I'm going to do is actually hop in the shower and wash what's up under this bonnet. <laughs> then I will be back in the next clip. Alright y'all, I am fresh out the shower. Hair is freshly washed. Underneath here I have some leave-in conditioner in my head with a shower cap. And I just tied it back with a t-shirt. We are gonna hold off on that for a second because what I want to do is get these eyebrows in shape, okay? Take them out, honey. They need some love. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shape up my eyebrows and probably do a little bit um, of like a little mini facial skincare type thing or what ifs. So what I'm gonna use to actually, what I like to do Whenever I am doing my eyebrows, I like to use a gel base so that I'm not cutting my skin. And what I'm going to be using is this Best Defense Aloe Vera Gel that I actually got from Amazon. I will link it in the description below if you are interested. It has Manuka Honey, Witch Hazel, Peppermint, Rosemary, and Tea Tree in it. And I've had this for quite some time. I usually use it to make like my um, homemade cosmetics and things like that. And it is literally, I don't know if y'all can tell... It's about right here and I've had this for a while, maybe about a year and a half or two years. So it goes a long way and what it basically does for me is it helps me again, like I said, not cut myself and um, just gives it a smoother process. So I'm going to put this all over my face and uh, do my eyebrows, may do a little, you know, extra like I said and then what I'm gonna go in with afterwards is this detox collagen face mask that is infused with charcoal and seaweed before I put this on though and I believe if I'm if I'm recalling correctly I got this from Dollar Tree Dollar Tree actually has some good little snacks in their self-care section I mean in the store period if you don't know you need to go check it out because there are some good things that you can get I don't get everything but some things I definitely do get and try out I've tried this one before and I really like it so I'm going to use it um, but before I do that I will be cleansing my face with this authentic African black soap that I got from Walmart I'm sure I could find it and link it below so yeah let's get into it Lastly, oh, to moisturize, I like to use Shea Moisture Sweet Almond Oil for my face. So yeah, I'll do my best to link as much of this stuff as I can down in the description below if you are interested. Let's get into it. Also with this Eco Lips Lip Scrub in Mint. Got this um, from Walmart, I believe. I have a really bad habit and have for 
a long time like since being a kid of biting the inside of my lip and I'm trying to stop that habit <sighs> I don't know what started it I feel like it has something to do with like anxiety I was bullied as a kid and it just became a habit um so yeah trying to correct that and in the process trying to make sure that I use this scrub at least once or twice a week um, and get my lips healed because geez but anyways the brows are looking much better I don't really go too crazy or whatever like I just shape them up um, and honestly they could be better but they're fine they're fine i usually go and get them threaded but the place where i go get them threaded is entirely too far and today we're just taking care of self anyway so something that i've learned is self-care and maintenance are two different things like when you are going to go get your manis and your petties your facials your hair done your eyebrows done things like that that's maintenance but self-care is when you're doing it all yourself and honestly I enjoy self-care a lot more because sometimes you can go to some of these places and get service and it don't be the greatest like it don't be the best like I haven't been to get a mini and petty in years because of that so I like to do my own self care you feel me so whatever works for me works for me whatever works for you honey works for you do what you do this is what I do so now I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the mask moisturize afterwards so we can get to this head it feels my face feels amazing look at that glow honey mm. yes mm -hmm. yeah yeah <laughs> all right so now that we're doing this I'm gonna take a quick break and go eat because she's hungry it is like it's two o'clock I need some grub after that, I'm going to come back. We're going to tackle this head, okay? Mm -hmm. And then she's going to be big. Come on, baby. And we're back. We're better. She's fed. Baby's fed. We're happy. Okay. So now let's tackle this head. I will link my wash and go routine here. Now, since my hair has grown out a little bit, it has changed and I will be more than happy to update you guys on what my routine looks like now. Um, that video was probably about maybe two, three months ago when it was a lot shorter. I use the same products. Um, the process just looks a little different. So if you're interested in that, definitely like this video and I will update you all on what my wash and go routine looks like. As of today, I'm just going to, you know, speed through this thing so we can finish up this video.
so hair is done what I'm gonna do now is actually go through and diffuse it but yeah that pretty much wraps it up for this video you guys I feel so good like just doing those few things to care for myself has made me feel so much more put together and like just so much more in my element and now that I have taken care of me it's gonna be a breeze to take care of my family and so this is your sign if you haven't done yourself some self-care lately if you're feeling like you need a reboot do some self-care do some self-care, do your hair, do your facial, your mani, your petty, whatever you need to do in order to feel full and just beautiful and vibrant and happy again, sis. Do it. Do it. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that like button, hit that subscribe, and join the family. I love y'all, until next time, remember to love yourself wholeheartedly, radiate with positivity, and vibrate at your highest frequency.